a quick go here. Um, uh, I've arrived from um, Italy with Germany now, and I'm just going to flip the camera because uh, I'm going to show you what I can see. Right, so behind us here, this is uh, I'm actually a place called uh, Zeithing, which is very close to uh, a place called Jak Jakobsau. So I'm making this video in two parts. Um, reason for this is because I found this place first. Um, Jakobsau, um, the site of the actual um, prisoner of war camp, is just a bit further up the road. This was the place that I came to first, and it was a, uh, a cemetery um, for all of the um, Russian or the Soviet uh, army, um, and they were all buried in this place. But uh, this was the place that I yeah, first came to. What I didn't realise was that there's a museum here. People used to live in this house up until the uh, 90s, I think it was. And what I won't see at the site of the actual prisoner, the, the old prisoner of war camp, which turns out to be quite big, I found out a lot of information because there's a uh, an actual museum inside this building. But uh, Bob mentioned that uh, he was staying in uh, pretty poor conditions, but in wooden huts. They don't exist uh, anymore at the actual site but uh, one still remains in this area. I'm not sure um, if this is always in this location or whether it's just been moved across, but this is one of the actual wooden huts that uh, would have been built around that time. And this is the sort of thing that he would have been staying in in the middle of the, uh, the fields um, where he was at that time. So I thought I would uh, just show you this before going across to the actual uh, place itself where lots of these huts only were. Um, I'll just quickly show you inside. Oh. Signal's not very... Um, Uh, little look inside. It's uh, now, but at the time it would have been filled lots of the um, bunk bed and bunk beds um, that they would have been sleep good conditions. Anyway, this is uh, just quickly uh, show you the sort of huts that uh, he would have been staying in at uh, the time he was in this uh, in this place, and I'm now going to go across to. The actual site where the uh, prison of war is, and uh, so I'll do the part two of this video from there. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah.